Today, we are answering the question, is pineapple on pizza a crime? And that's starting right now. For this experiment, I had to bust out the big guns and put together a pizza based on Kenji's Serious Eats Sicilian Pizza recipe. I'll leave a link in the description. The sauce is easy and comes out thick, spicy, and has a humongous depth of flavor from all the garlic. I figured that was a good base for pineapple. His dough is also simple and foolproof. Once you set it up like a grandma pie with plenty of olive oil, the result is crusty and delicious and you always go with the crusty. But how do I feel about pineapple on pizza? Before we get too deep into this, I wanna let you guys know that I'm not here to tell you what to like and what not to like. If you like pineapple on pizza, more power to you. If you don't like pineapple on pizza, that's fine too. What I'd like to accomplish today is figuring out if you're gonna have pineapple on pizza, what's the best way to do it? Because for me, my main goal on this channel is to maximize on all those amazing food experiences. So let's dig down and figure out this pineapple on pizza thing. Pineapple on pizza is something that I don't normally order, but I've eaten in the past. For me, there's there's one kind of inherent flaw with pineapple on pizza and it's not what you think, but I'll get back to that in just a second. Anybody who will tell you that like pineapple on pizza in Italy isn't done and Italians would never do that, well let me tell you something. In Brooklyn there's a thing called Hawaiian sausage where they literally grind pineapple and maraschino cherries into ground pork and make sausage out of it. If people can eat something like that, then they can eat pineapple on pizza. At the bottom of it, I wouldn't go out and say that pineapple on pizza is completely taboo. Now the way I was introduced to pineapple on pizza was was college. Papa John's used to offer a Hawaiian pizza with ham and pineapple. It's the middle of the night, you've been drinking, you order a pizza, you'll eat anything, right? My biggest problem with it at the time had to do with the fact that it's a watery thing to put on pizza. And that's the reason why I think at the heart of it, pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. But I'll also tell you that raw green peppers or even raw onions don't belong on pizza. And it's because of the compatibility of the moisture content with all your oils for the cheeses for the pizza. Enough talk, let's taste some pizza. First up, we got pineapple alone on the pizza. Now, one thing you'll note about this, the cheese got a little brown. This cooks at a really, really high temperature. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's just get right into it. Had to make sure I get some pineapple there. Let's go in one more bite and we'll make our judgment at that point. Let's get this bite here with all that nice pineapple. Making a mess! Making a mess! It's all right, there's something about it that is a little off. I can't really put my finger on it. One thing I will say, and I gave myself edge slices of each of these because I don't know if you guys know this about me, but my day job is an analytical chemist. You gotta keep as many variables constant as possible. So I didn't want to get like a crusty edge and then a middle section. So all three slices are geometrically equivalent. But as far as Kenji's pizza, this is absolutely incredible. The sauce is nice and intense. The dough is nice and springy. It's that Sicilian style kind of grandma pizza. If you take anything away from this video, it's that you gotta go into the comments and get that recipe. So good. Here's why pineapple alone doesn't work for me. On top of your nice crust, you have your tomato sauce, you have your cheese, and you have this pineapple that has a fairly acidic taste and also all that water content. So we've talked about the water content. That acidic taste to me is one of those things that's kind of not easy to get past because it's not like a pickled jalapeno or pepperoncino where it's like nice and pickled because you also have that sweet element of the pineapple. So I think once we try this with a little bit of meat on it, some of that saltiness is gonna offset that acidity. So let's try it. Let's try pineapple and ham on pizza. Next up, ham and pineapple on pizza. When I bought this ham, I bought Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon, Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon is kind of similar to the ham that they put on. It's sliced already and it was just easy. So let's go right in. We're getting there. The ham definitely adds to this. And I will say, after tasting this pineapple alone, I don't think I would ever actually go for that. There's something about it. The fact that it's so watery, even after cooking for so long, there's nothing really to balance off that sweetness, which I think the ham helps a little bit. So let's take it even further and let's go all out here. I've kept you guys in the dark on this final pizza slice because I think this is really gonna put it over the top in terms of how to enjoy pineapple on pizza. And that is to not only go with ham, but 
but also throw on there some pepperoni and some bacon for good measure, just because we love the meats. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe if you like food. We've tried pineapple slices with and without ham, and it's time to take it further with all the meats. Pepperoni is gonna add a spicy bite, and bacon is gonna add some smokiness and even more salt. Let's see how it tastes. For the last one, I prepped something special, and I kind of gave it away in the shots there. So we got pineapple, ham, pepperoni, and bacon. And if you stick around, I got a couple other things we're gonna try as kind of toppings for this, because I think this is gonna be the way to go. First, just on its own, let's see. I wanna get a bite of everything. Mm. Yeah. Much more balanced. The sauce and the pineapple work together. The meats kind of bring some saltiness. I definitely don't want to overthink this on you. Like obviously by adding all these components, it's gonna make it better. Now, if you were actually to order this from a pizzeria, because now you're working on four toppings, you're, you're getting up there in the price. But if you're gonna make it yourself, this is a pretty respectable pizza. Maybe pineapple on pizza ain't so bad after all. Don't leave yet. I got a few more things to try. So first up, we got an everyday hot sauce. And I picked... Call for Cassie. Where was I? I picked three hot sauces from the archives here. First up is Tapatio, everyday hot sauce. Let's go on with a little of that. I think heat is gonna help this a little more too because the pepperoni definitely helped. Mm. Oh yeah. I know some people order jalapenos with their pineapple on pizza. That definitely can work. Let's try another hot sauce. This one is called Los Calientes, which is from Hot Ones, if you watch that show. This one is the one that everybody loves. They haven't had this in a few seasons, but let's go on with a little of that. Ooh. Mm. This is a tasty sauce, kind of on the sweet side. So this one, I would say, is probably not a great compliment to this pizza, but we got one more. One more hot sauce and one super silly topping. Next up, we got Monk's. This is kind of like a Matuk's kind of um, habanero-based hot sauce, Barbados style. Go on with a little of that. This guy is spicy, so. But like, this kind of reminds me of island vibe. So like, you know, pineapple, habanero. Mmm. Man. That's a move too. This one's a lot spicier, so if you're gonna use a Barbados style hot sauce like Matuk's or this is called Monk's, use at your own risk. One more. Good old ranch. Dylan Beck Ranch, let's do it. I don't even really like ranch, but it's YouTube, guys. We gotta take it over the top. Whoa. Making a mess. Making a mess. All right. It grows on you, but that ain't it. What do you think? Are you gonna have pineapple on pizza going forward? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what other controversial food pairings we should tackle on the channel here. And we recently checked out a pizzeria in Saratoga with a Detroit style hot honey pizza. I'm sure they'll throw pineapple on that. Check that out right here. Mm -hmm.